Hi everyone, this is Marva Riley. In my household, health and wellness is a hot topic. We're always talking about health and wellness. And yesterday, last night actually, the conversation was about, the question was asked actually, why is it that folks don't make better health choices and better health decisions? make better food choices, for example. Why don't folks know that they're supposed to eat more real foods like fresh vegetables and fruits and uh, roots and things like that? Why is it that folks eat uh, so much processed foods and ultra processed foods and unhealthy foods, etc.? And some answers came to us that We've probably knew, but we didn't give it much thought before. Folks genuinely do not know how to eat healthily. Folks genuinely do not know how to eat healthily. You see, healthy eating, healthy nutrition, healthy lifestyle is not emphasized. I know here in the United States where I live, there's no emphasis. There's no really formal teaching to teach our children, for example, or young adults or adults how to eat properly. Even if you go to a doctor, they might say to you, eat properly or eat healthy, but no one sits down with you and shows you what it means to eat healthy. So I've come to realize even people that have a degree, for example, don't necessarily know how to eat healthily. So yesterday we were at our local supermarket, which has a lot of healthy options. There's a lot of junk there, but there's also a lot of fresh vegetables. They have organic. If you can't afford organic, they have regular fresh vegetables, lots of fruits, nuts, fresh meats, a lot of healthy options. We picked up a bundle of bok choy because we eat bok choy a lot, cabbage and bok choy and green vegetables, etc. And we usually don't really cook the bok choy. We chop it up and make it into a salad. So our cashier said um, to my husband, what are you going to do with that? He, no, first of all, she said, what is that? And he said, it's bok choy. And she said, well, what do you do with it? How do you prepare it? And um, he told her, you know, we, we, we don't cook it. We chop it up and make it and eat it raw, make it into a salad, but you can steam it gently or saute it gently, but we don't cook it. And she said, oh, I'm going to try it because my husband recently had a heart attack and had open heart surgery. So we want to learn how to eat better. I really, um, kudos to her for thinking about it and and trying to, to eat healthy. But that was a clear indication to us that folks really, for the most part, they don't know how to eat healthily, which is one of the reasons why I am on this movement, this health and wellness movement, to teach people how to eat healthily, how to prepare simple, healthy, easy, and inexpensive recipes to feed themselves and their families to prevent heart attack. Or if you've already had heart attack and you've had open heart surgery, for example, you can, you can begin to eat healthy so that you don't have a recurrence or other health issues and give your body the nutrient, the nourishment that it, it needs to heal itself. So that was an eye opener. I mean, I know because I'm a registered nurse and uh, even as a registered nurse, I didn't really know how to eat properly. I had to do a lot of digging, a lot of searching. I had to go online. I had to buy books. I had to go on YouTube. I had to learn from other people who know how to eat healthy. And I'm constantly learning how to include, uh, uh, how to tweak my healthy lifestyle. So we take some things for granted that people know. They don't necessarily know. Um, 
And I was reading Dr. Joel Furman's book. It's called um, The Fast Food Genocide. And the first chapter, in the first chapter, he indicated that there are many people in the United States, for example, who do not have access to fresh foods, fresh vegetables, fresh fruits, etc. And my husband said, how could that be? Every place, everywhere has a supermarket. And I thought about it and I said, not really. Because I live in Georgia and there are many, many small towns with 500 people, 700 people, and they really don't have a supermarket. The folks will go to the gas station or a little corner store um, to buy food. And what do they have there? They have the ramen noodle, they have the chips and the white bread, and they have the cheap canned stuff that you buy for a dollar loaded with sodium and other processed things. They don't have a supermarket. We live in a small city which about with about 2,000 people. But there are people in our community that do not have access to transportation. They don't have a car to drive the one and a half miles that we have to drive to go to the supermarket to get fresh fruits, fresh vegetables, fresh meat, stuff to cook. So folks will buy these canned things and, uh, you know, these ultra processed things is sugary stuff that are unhealthy that's what they're eating because that's what they have access to so that was really an eye-opener um for me uh you kind of know these things but you don't give it much thought i am on a mission my life purpose is to show you to show Anyone that I come across, that lady, for example, to teach her, even give her a little bite-sized information, um, to show anyone, to teach anyone, uh, anyone that will listen, that even if you don't have a lot of money, you can make some healthier choices. Because even if you have to eat canned, canned food, for example, you can choose canned beans and you're washed the, 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 the excess preservative and salt off the beans. You can choose canned beans, canned peas. You know what I mean? And try your very best to make the healthiest choice that you possibly can.